To give you more information about the white paper, we hold this press conference to introduce this white paper. Today with us are Mr. Xu Daqiu, Chairman of China Atomic Energy Authority, Administrator of State Administration of Science, Technology and Industry for National Defense, Vice Chairman of National Nuclear Accident Emergency Coordination Committee, and Mr. Yao Bing, Director of the China National Nuclear Emergency Office. They will give you some information about China's nuclear emergency and take your questions. I'm Hu Kai Hong from the press conference. I want to give you some information of the white paper. China is a major nuclear user and is committed to peaceful use of nuclear power since the 1980s. Great development has been achieved in China. Now there have been 54 units of national nuclear power in China, ranking the third in the country. Now we have promoted the growing global strategy of nuclear power, injecting fresh impetus to the development of nuclear power. In 2014, March, President Xi attended the Hague National Nuclear Security Summit and outlined China's government approach to national nuclear development. It has been widely applauded by the international community. Today, the Chinese government released the white paper. It is the first of its kind of the Chinese government. It's about 13 thousand words. It consists of three parts, four words, main body and conclusion. It covers the basic use of nuclear security, nuclear emergency responses measures, nuclear emergency exercises and agreements, public communications, emergency innovation, emergency international cooperation, and so on. It gives a comprehensive presentation about the achievements of China's nuclear emergency. It's printed in Chinese, English, French, German, Spanish, Japanese, and Arabic. The Chinese and English version have been published by relevant publishing houses, and they will be available at Xinhua Bookstore nationwide. Now let me give the floor to Mr. Xu. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure to meet friends from the press today, and I would like to express my gratitude to you for your interest in and great support for China's nuclear energy development and nuclear safety emergency activities. Since China embarked on nuclear energy endeavor, especially since the development of nuclear power in the early 1980s, the CPC and the Chinese government have consistently attached great importance to nuclear emergency work by establishing and improving national policies related to nuclear emergency work, enhancing nuclear emergency activities, improving response measures to ensure safe, efficient, sustainable and healthy development of nuclear energy. Since the 18th CPC National Congress, in accordance with the overall national nuclear security outlook set forth by President Xi to meet the new needs of the new situation and new requirements, and in light of the new features and rules associated with nuclear energy development, the CPC and the Chinese government have placed a greater emphasis on nuclear emergency work and have been pushing forward and innovating along that line. It is manifested by the following main aspects. First, advocating the nuclear security outlook, featuring a sensible, coordinated and balanced approach to ensure the right way forward for nuclear energy development. At the Hague Nuclear Security Summit held in March 2014, President Xi put forward China's nuclear security outlook, featuring a sensible, coordinated and balanced approach Specifically, we should place equal emphasis on development and security and develop nuclear energy on the premise of safety. We should place equal emphasis on rights and obligations and push forward the international nuclear security 
process on the basis of respecting the rights and interests of all countries. We should place equal emphasis on independent and collective efforts and seek universal nuclear security through win-win cooperation. We should place equal emphasis on treating symptoms and addressing root causes and advance the nuclear security endeavor in all respects with the goal of removing the risks at the root. This summit, President Xi made clear that China shall stay firmly committed to strengthening its own nuclear security capability, building the international nuclear security system, supporting international cooperation on nuclear security, and upholding regional and global peace and stability. In line with President Xi Jinping's thoughts, we shall stick to bottom-line thinking, stay problem-oriented, keep aware of potential risks and ready to assume responsibilities, and commit ourselves to effective response to nuclear energy safety emergency so as to take the efforts to new heights. Second, establishing and perfecting national nuclear emergency policies and pushing ahead with the national nuclear emergency system in all around manner. We have strengthened the coordination and the policy arrangements with a focus on establishing and improving a national nuclear emergency system. First, in respect of nuclear emergency planning system, we have promulgated the new version of national nuclear emergency plan and updated and revised emergency plans drawn up by all the evolved units at various levels so as to put in place a cohesive and harmonized system at the national level. Secondly, with regards to the building of legal and regulatory systems, we have formed an integrated system of national laws, administrative regulations, departmental rules, national and industry standards and management guidelines. Since last year, we have promulgated the national security law and have been pushing ahead with the legislative process related to the atomic energy law and the nuclear safety law. Thirdly, with respect to organization and command system, we have established a three-tiered nuclear emergency response system involving national bodies, provincial bodies, and nuclear operators. Fourth, with respect to technical support, we have built up technical support centers for eight categories of nuclear emergency expertise along with the associated training arrangements. Fifth, with respect to the rescue and treatment system, efforts are underway to set up a national nuclear emergency rescue team composed of 320 personnel. Its main responsibilities are to undertake rescue missions under severe conditions and emergency treatment tasks and stand ready to take part in international nuclear emergency rescue operations. At the same time, dozens of national level specialized rescue task forces are being established. Third, strengthening public communication, training and exercise on nuclear emergency to enhance the emergency response capabilities at all levels. Every year, we organize various forms of nuclear emergency exercises and drills. In June last year, we organized the state-level National Emergency Joint Exercise codenamed Shenzhen 2015 involving nuclear emergency capabilities from 19 provinces, autonomous regions, and municipalities, and 2,900 personnel. The exercise was highly praised by international organizations and foreign experts with their participation. We have established a three-tiered training system under which regular trainings have been carried out. We have placed great importance on public communication and information release in related to nuclear emergency. We conduct centralized publicity activities in an open, transparent, objective, authentic, authoritative, credible, and easy to understand manner. We have made every effort to let public opinions heard about nuclear energy development, ensure people's rights of supervision over nuclear safety, and the right to know what is going on about nuclear emergency preparedness and the response. Through continuous exercises, training, and publicity, we have been able to test and evaluate the actual effectiveness of the various levels of nuclear emergency plans in an effort to 
improve the nuclear emergency work and enhance nuclear emergency response and treatment capabilities. In this way, the Chinese government's image as a responsible player will be projected. Fourth, implementing the Belt and Road Initiative and nuclear power going global strategy to steadily integrate into the international nuclear safety emergency system. In keeping with the principles of innovative, coordinated, green, open and shared development and to meet the requirements of the Belt and Road Initiative and nuclear power going global strategy, we have been committed to sharing and communicating with the international community for cooperation to build up an international nuclear safety emergency system that is fair, open, collaborative, win-win and shared. As appointed member state sitting on the board of governors of IAEA, China strictly fulfills its international obligations under the IAEA Convention, Convention on Assistance in the Case of a Nuclear Accident or Radiological Emergency, and Convention on Early Notification of a Nuclear Accident. We have always been responsive to IAEA calls for action and fully support IAEA in playing a leading role in the fields of promoting nuclear energy and nuclear technology applications, strengthening nuclear safety and nuclear emergency preparedness, and implementing safeguard supervision. It has continuously expanded bilateral and multilateral exchanges and have entered into bilateral nuclear energy cooperation agreements with over 30 countries. We have played a constructive role in multiple international organizations. Chinese leaders have attended all nuclear security summits held to date to outline Chinese government's positions. And as a responsible great power, China stands ready to work together with the rest of the world to share the fruit of nuclear energy development. Looking ahead in historical process of building a moderately prosperous society in all respects, achieving the two centenary goals and realizing China's dream of the great national renewal, China is set to continue to harness nuclear energy as an important strategic choice in line with the five development principles. As long as the repressor has with nuclear energy development, we shall never relent in our efforts to further strengthen nuclear emergency work. Going forward, our course of action is as follows, in accordance with the overall national security outlook and the requirements of China's nuclear safety outlook, we will continue to place equal emphasis on development and safety with the latter as the prerequisite, strengthen the coordinated progress in nuclear emergency preparedness and nuclear energy development to ensure that all actions items for nuclear emergency preparedness are fully re impl implemented. We will match capacity with demand, keep up with the times, and continuously enhance our emergency capabilities. We will stick to domestic and international exchanges by continuing to deepen international cooperation in respect of nuclear emergency to promote the establishment of a future-oriented international nuclear safety emergency preparedness system and share with the international community achievements of the peaceful use of nuclear energy. We will give equal attention to present and long-term development, look at the broader trend of nuclear energy development at home and abroad, plan on nuclear emergency preparedness in a forward-looking manner to ensure planning, preparation and prevention in advance with a view to benefiting mankind in the peaceful use of nuclear energy. Thank you.